everyone and welcome to today's reading and if you are watching it the day that I'm uploading this then happy new year welcome everyone um today is gonna be new year's day so happy new year all the best wishes to all of you for 2024 um today I wanted to do a reading kind of inspired on the new day I wanted to get a message from spirit for the new year so for 2024 any advice or guidance that spirit has for you for you to focus on in 2024 in the new year's um new year resolutions i don't know anything anything that spirit would like to you know communicate with you for the new year as always, let me start with some of the announcements. You can still book private readings with me as well. My email address is in the description box below. If you go over there, you'll find, or no, if you send me an email, I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know and all the options I have available for booking readings with me. Um, there's also a link tree link. If you go over there, you'll find uh, my TikTok as well as my Instagram. And for anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation, go over there. You'll find all uh, sorts of options for that as well. Now let's get over uh, to the reading part of this video. So 2024, some advice or guidance or messages from Spirit for you for this new year. For pile number one, you are going to be this card right here with the world. The world for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be the nine of ones. The nine of ones. For pile two and pile number three, you are going to be the nine of swords. The nine of swords for pile number three. So if you need some more time to figure out which pile belongs to you, then pause the video here and otherwise I will talk to you in your reading. Hi, pal number one. So if you chose this card with the world, then this is going to be your reading for today. So we're going to be looking into a message from Spirit for 2024 predictions or anything that Spirit would like to get your you know attention on right now at this time. With that world energy, it's already a beautiful energy of the world is the last card of the deck. So to me, that's about endings, ending of cycles, <sighs> fresh new starts, fresh new beginnings. For some of you, I almost want to say like leave 2023 in the past. Don't look back, move forward, have that ending, have that beautiful fresh new start, new opportunities, exploring. Um, for others of you, 2024 might be your year of leaving everything in the past. Um putting an end to cycles, um, stuff like that. But let's take a look what the tarot has to say about this for you guys. So pile number one with that world energy, a message from spirit for 2024 or anything in the moment, you know, maybe you guys are watching this like, I don't know, in March or something. Still a message from spirit for you at this time. Okay, let me gather everything and see if we need some more. I don't think so. We have a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. First off, we have the three of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles. Five of cups. The hanged men. The ace of pentacles. Two of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. Okay, let's scooch over so we can also add the bottom of the deck to the reading. Let's see, that is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, love that. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I see I had another one. It flipped to the other side. Uh, that's also the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups as well. I didn't see that one. Okay, let's see. A message from Spirit. Overall energy with that Knight of uh, Pentacles and that world energy as well. That is, like, take your time. 
take it slow, do it good, do it right, uh, and take your time if you need some more time. Um, again for some of you it's about like wrapping up a cycle or having some sort of ending here with that as well take your time as well don't just you know rushly have that ending right um take your time close it off right so you don't have to get back and fix things later on um for some of you <laughs> I, I, there's just a lot coming towards me. So for some of you with that Three of Pentacles, I'm seeing it can be helpful for some of you to get some outside help, <clears throat> outside advice that can be, I don't know, a friend, family member, can also be like a life coach or a psychologist or whoever that might be, um, to work on these things together, that ending. With that Ace of Pentacles, I'm seeing for some of you, this might also include a new job, going for a new job, having an ending at your job. There is some sort of decision that needs to be made, though, whether that's, again, like changing jobs, but you feel like you shouldn't, but you feel at the same time that you should. Very indecisiveness. Trust your intuition. Again, get help from friends, family members. Um to have someone to bounce off of like ideas of how you're feeling because sometimes like when it comes to we're gonna get very life coachy here but our thoughts are not who we are we just have them and sometimes we need to test our thoughts of is that right is that wrong and one ways of doing that is one you can write things down because then you see it you, or sometimes you need to hear your thoughts so if you speak your thoughts you hear them as well and your brain tests them on reality which they do not do if you don't speak them out if they just stay in your head in your mind um, so that can also be helpful with like friends talk about it if you're feeling crap sometimes you know Sometimes you have those moments where you say something and the moment you say it, you regret it. Or the moment you say it, you realize that's not true. I think that's a little bit what needs to happen. You need to hear your own thoughts back at you again uh, to figure out really what it is that you want and to make that decision. Um, I don't want to say easier. Well, yeah, easier. <sighs> There's a lot of, again, leave the past in the past as well. A lot of lingering feelings have that ending or work towards having that ending. Um, with that five cups, there is still looking back at the past, at what is lost, what is no longer here, what you're missing or, you know, instead of looking at what you do still have, what you can be thankful for, what it is that you appreciate in your life as well. <sighs> But again, take your time. It doesn't have to end within the first month after, you know, this this video. Take your time. Seven of Pentacles, it's a learning process. Um, you might fail at it as well. There might be times where you want to quit, where it's like, is it worth it? Do I continue and try to fix this? And will it get better? Will I feel like this forever? Will, you know... Do I just start over? Do And I kind of want to say that's okay to feel that way. Again, if you stay lingering it, I really think that friends, family members, or maybe colleagues um, can really be, you know, a soundboard for when it is that you're feeling like that. I'm also seeing a lot of, like a little like I, I don't know how to describe it it's more like sparkly energy of like let's just try let's just give it a shot we'll see we don't have a plan we'll just go after it we'll see how it goes we'll see if it's helpful or not um type energy with that page of swords as well where that might be about having a talk with someone that might be about changing your job you know um with that Wheel of Fortune as well. The Wheel of Fortune to me is very mysterious as well as it talks about things you have no control over. Like the seasons changing, the sun uh, rise. All these things you have no control over. And there's a lot of like worry in. And maybe even trying to control that. As well as there is some 
need for self-reflection, um, if you feel overwhelmed, if it gets too much, if you feel like you have no control, the hangman is about taking a step back, reflecting on oneself as well as, you know, is there anything I need to change or what do I want from my life or what, you know, moving forward. For some of you, like I said, with that world energy, I definitely feel this is a cycle that comes to an end, that overwhelming feeling. I think at the end of this cycle, or definitely at the end of the year, you feel more um, self-secured. You know more who you are, where you want to go, the path that you're walking. Um, but it does talk about making choices. There are some hard, tough choices that need to be made. But at the same time, I feel like those choices will bring in more balance and more harmony in your own life. As well as these are choices where it's a good, almost good choice is the one where you're more selfish. What With that hangman what is best for me right um for some of you i'm also seeing that there might be a new love interest coming in this year and i feel with everything that's going on that <laughs> for some of you that's almost a price right for all the hard work that you're gonna put in where it's like okay if you because for some of you it's a bit where you're like, okay, like, what's the use in me working on myself even more? Or what's the use in, you know, going through all this? Uh, and the universe is almost where it's like, well, we have a little bit of a prize, not a little bit, but like a prize at the end of it that you need to rise your frequency to get in alignment with what I see could be a soulmate type connection as well. To, you know, kicking a little bit of the motivation for some of you who need it. But again, that Knight of Pentacles at the bottom as the overall energy. Take it easy. Take it slow. You don't have to rush into it. This doesn't have to be fixed like tomorrow. Um, and I almost want to say, like, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy at all. It's going to be tough. You're going to... Ask yourself, what's the point? And hearing this, like I said, it might feel a bit like, why would I want to, you know, go through all this? But with the world energy, like I said, this is just a cycle. And it's like coming to an end as well, this cycle. Um, okay, I want to get some oracles on this for you. But which one? Some advice and guidance. Okay, let me get some of these. Some advice and guidance for pile number one. For 2024. We have field of dreams. Look at that. Field of dreams. To, to me, that's just the universe going like, no, hold your dreams. Follow your dreams. Go after what it is that you want. As well as dream big dream big and have that as a goal as a motivation who do i want to be what do i want to achieve this year where do i you know want to end this year as well as just what type of person do i want to be we have a deep freeze deep freeze and for some of you i feel like that might be the decision this year Right between following your dreams or getting into that deep freeze. Because the deep freeze to me stands a little bit for, um, I kind of want to say deep rest, which to me talks sometimes about depression as well. But, you know, putting yourself in a fridge, this is okay, I'm not going to work anymore. I'm just going to sit here, follow this path, and we'll see where it goes. Where there is, again, that spark a little bit missing. For some of you, this might be where you're like at right now um, and where the, the message is like 
follow your dreams, have dreams, find dreams, create that field full of dreams of where do I want to go? Who do I want to be? Like make it the dream as crazy as it gets, like dream big, right? Go as far to the point where you're like, well, that's ridiculous, right? Dream that big where you're like, that's not even realistic. Have that dream. I feel like I need to, <laughs> so I have this one quote that I sometimes use for my online um, life coaching where people have no idea how deep our thinking and thoughts actually go and how much they affect our day-to-day -day life, also on the long term, where we can all agree that one action one simple small action can change your life forever right whether that is i don't know taking up a sport or deciding to go to the supermarket and then run into someone or like one action one act can change everything that one act is always always after one thought so one simple thought can change your life dramatically. And I feel like that's kind of where universe like, no, dream big, just dream big. Even if it's like outrageously big, uh, do it because that will get you into motion. And I feel like the universe just wants you to, you know, move. Does that make sense? Okay, let me get some more I want one of these for call number one we have Horus with cosmic gateway your thoughts are magnetic and powerful miraculous changes are occurring okay I swear to god I am not rigging this deck <laughs> okay that's okay that's just what I said basically your thoughts are magnetic and powerful Miraculous changes are occurring. So dream big. Manifest big. Because that will get you into motion. Um, and out of that deep free state. For some of you, you might be at a depressive state. Or at, or at that point where you're like, what's the point? Um, very much struggling. Again, some help from outside can very be so much helpful. Um, just again to test your thinking to test your thoughts um okay what else i want one more for pile number one some advice and guidance we <laughs> we have the new moon in gemini with communication is key communication is key i'm i honestly i swear i'm not rigging this this is okay so yeah, communicating, talking about it. How are you feeling? Where do you want to go? Because I feel like even if you are in that state of deep freeze, I just feel so much like powerful energy coming from this where with that wheel of fortune as well, like the world is your oyster. You can do like it's open, right? It's just you stepping into it. Because look at that, that like the world, you have the world at your feet, your feet, you can do anything, what you decide to do, what you want to do. The world is open and the universe like, go get it, go. We want you to dream big, to go after what it is that you want. Make 2024 the year where you dream big and you go after it as well as like working on your thought patterns, working on your communication. We also have the Six of Wands, which was victory. This is going to be the year where you kick ass, basically. Your own ass, as well as everyone else's, who disagree or, you know. To me, this is just like a little bit of a kick under the butt. Analyze your thought patterns. Analyze what's going on. How are you feeling? What do I want to do? See new opportunities coming for when they do. Because I do see, see, again, new beginnings. Whether that's career, going back to school, new relationship, moving house. Right? And your thinking is at the like the base of it all. 
And I feel for some of you, you might have been through things where you started doubting yourself, where you, you know, never learned to trust yourself or follow your gut or whatever that is. Again, get some outside help to at least talk about it to because with that deep freeze as well, that's kind of what's happening with your thoughts if you don't talk about them, right? It's. Like if you, it, how do you say it? It like freezes, like stuck. Like if you talk about it, it like, it vibrates, right? The, the ice vibrates and it gets loose. But the things you don't talk about just like get stuck. Does that make sense? I don't know how else I, I should like explain what's going on. At least not in English. But I think, yeah, I think the universe is one to you, one to talk about it, two to dream big and to follow your dreams as well as monitoring your thoughts and believe how much impact your thinking has on how you're feeling, how you're doing, how, you know. As well as like, okay, this is something that I, a technique that I do. Uh, if I'm not feeling great, if I feel like, pff, pff, you know, I don't want to do anything, I just feel bad, ugh, you know, I tell myself, okay, me feeling like this is a choice. Now I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to choose to see light in everything. This is a technique that's very hard to practice. I am not an expert in it. I feel at it every time I try it but by changing your thought pattern and actively go no 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 you're having a good day you decided to have a good day so if something bad happens to me that ticks me off I find things where I try to look for things that gives me a better mood whether that's you know when I walk to the grocery store and I almost get hit by a car or something and it ticks me off. I try to, along the way towards uh, the supermarket, try to do breathing exercises, try to be more grounded with nature. If I see a flower, I pay more attention to it or I take a picture of it or, you know, I deliberately put a smile on my face even though I'm not feeling it. You know, there are all these ways you can trick your mind into an emotion. And like I said, this is like a very hard thing to do, but this is some sort of those, one of those techniques where I'm like, okay, that's like life coaching that can help you with that type of tools, right? For you to, one, get through the day for some of you, um, and to really help you to choose the life that you want. Right? So... <laughs> Yeah, otherwise, I, I feel like I'm gonna leave it here. Otherwise, this is gonna turn into a life coaching session, which is not the purpose of this uh, YouTube channel. But yeah, I am gonna leave it here. If you guys want to know more about life coaching and whatnot, leave it in the comments down below. I might think about uh, uploading a video, maybe on a different channel, um, about it. Or turning that channel, the other channel, into a life coaching channel. I don't know. Let me know if there's anything you're stuck on or anything, you know, how you're feeling. I just feel like the message from Spirit is we are here. We want what's best for you. But it's you that has to take the action, the first step. They want you to dream big, to follow your dreams. The world is open. We are here. But there is a need for you to uh, get a grip on your thinking. As well as... Being aware of the manifestations that you can do, the manifestations that you're putting out there in the moment, as well as they want you to communicate with it, about it, with someone. Um, and I feel like they have your back. There are things that are being prepared to bring into your life new opportunities, new chances. There are some hard decisions that are needed to be made, but they want you to have faith in yourself that you got this because you do. 
So again, I am going to leave it here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed this type of um, reading so I know that I can make more of this type in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. Shows your support to me and the channel as well. So thank you all so, so much for doing so, for being here and all the love and support I have been getting. Thank you so, so, so much. In the meantime, go kick ass. Make this your year go get them you got this uh have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading hi pal number two so if you chose this card with the nine of ones then this is going to be your reading today so we're going to be looking into basically a message from spirit any advice or guidance that they have for you for 2024 and anything else that we get from it, basically. So with that Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands is a bit defensive energy. So I am a bit where I'm like, hmm, are they like, there's something that you need to defend? Or are you defending something that's no longer there and needing to let go of? But let's take a look how this fits in with the rest of the tarot for you guys. So pile number two. With that nine of wands, a message from spirit, any advice or guidance for 2024? Um, I am saying 2024 for some of you, uh, if you're, I don't know, watching this in like March or three months from uh, when I upload. Um, it's also just like advice and guidance that you need to hear at this time. Uh, I just thought it was fun because I upload this on the 1st of January to just, you know, start the year fresh with some advice and guidance for this year. But let's take a look what we have and if we need some more. First off, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Six of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. The Seven of Wands. And I kind of want to get one more. Look at that. At the bottom, we have the Ace of Wands for this one. But let's... I want to get one more. Advice of Guidance for 2024. We have the Four of Cups. And we also have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords as well as the Moon underneath that. Okay. For some of you, this is definitely about a love relationship coming in there might be but that two of swords is about making a choice making a choice i feel like there's some defensiveness about getting in a relationship or this particular person that you're like no holding it off a little bit um because I feel with that Knight of Cups, there is a love love coming or like a new cycle of love, a new romance. If you are in a relationship, the next step in love. Uh, Ten of Cups, this is definitely an offer that is for your long-term happiness. That Ten of Cups is the type of love and relationship that everyone wants. Uh, well, I, that I can imagine everyone wants. Being loved, to love someone else, being emotionally uh, compatible, emotionally fulfilled. Um, but then we do have with that Hermit and the Four of Pentacles, I feel like, I kind of want to say like closed off, not ready for it, isolating yourself, not open for that person coming in, or feeling like not ready, very hung up on the past, focusing on what is lost on relationships that went wrong and Instead of learning the lessons and growing and moving forward, it's very much still stuck uh, in that energy of loss, of lack, of um, not being able to see new opportunities or ready or open for new opportunities to come in. This might be someone that people from the outside are, I don't know, pushing, whether that's an arranged marriage or... They go like, oh, why don't you go out with this person? Because they are fun and they are, you know, everyone's like approving and kind of like pushing you to get with them. But the more they push you, the more defensive you kind of get for it. Um, 
which is also making it hard to make a genuine decision because one you don't want to say yes to this opportunity uh for not because of that person but more before how you feel like you are pushed or the expectations of others or you know you always said you were not gonna do this and now this comes along and because I feel like there is something, right, with that Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is very, like, if the outside influence was not a thing, I think you would go out with them. Because there is so much, like, opinion about this. Or you feel, for some of you, it might be that you don't go, like, dating with this person um, because of what other people might think if you do, you know, not in a good way. Um, so there might all be different like things around this, but the core is the similar that you feel very defensive. It's a hard thing to make a choice of, but at the same time, I feel like you're getting a lot from this. If you open up, there's just a lot of closed offness that spirit is like, you know, you're wanting this type of relationship and this person coming in, we're bringing this in, but you are still very closed off, very much isolating yourself, very much not, you know, engaging in this. Now, with the Hermit and the Hangman, both talk about going inward for answers, looking for answers. Where is this defensiveness coming from? How am I feeling about this person, regardless of everyone else involved? If <laughs> This is a technique that I use for my life coaching sometimes. Like, if, with decision making, if everyone else around you died today... What decision would you make? Would you date this person? Would you engage with this person? Would you move forward? Um, and honestly, I'm feeling that's a yes. Because the Knight of Cups is very charming. It is... Sometimes I kind of describe the Knight of Cups as Prince Charming as well. Um, and with that Ten of Cups after that, that might very well be the case for this as well. But there's a lot of internal search needed. Like, why am I feeling so defensive? Where is this coming from? A uh, little bit more attention on that and working through that. Because um, right now I feel just a lot of fear of getting hurt. Um, resistance. But there's not a clear understanding of where it's coming from or like what are... The pros and cons and, you know, all that. Let me get some oracles on this for you guys as well. And, right, we also had the moon underneath that deck. And the moon is very still, still clouded. If you're like, okay, I'm going to make a decision if I have more information or if I know more or if it's more clearer to me. Where the moon is like, well, that's not really going to happen. You're going to wait a long time and nothing's going to happen. Because things do not look as they seem. They do not look as what they seem. Or they are not what they seem. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But let me get some oracles on this for you guys. Oh. So pile number two. With that nine of ones. Some advice and guidance for them on this situation. First off, we have the wishing well, and I absolutely love this because the wishing well is about making a wish in a well and it actually becoming reality. It acts actually being manifested um, throughout this. So like I said, that Knight of Cups, I do feel that's, you know, your person, whether this... Again, for some of you, I'm feeling like you want this person, but it's the people around you that you're, you know why you shouldn't or whether the people around you are like oh date this person and because of that you're like no type thing but this person is very much everything i feel like that you have been trying to manifest in your life um we also have the mountain and look there's a moon again as well the mountain but this just looks like someone you know very thirsty someone that has been depleted of water for a long time and kind of froze stuck That even if water is, like, offered, they cannot really, like, take it. 
for some of you it might be that you had given up a little bit or have a feeling of well this cannot be right this must be a trick they're only gonna hurt me even more again very closed off energy not wanting to open up For some of you, it might also be the case that you have not met this person, that you don't know who this is. Um, it's just with this, everything, it's just kind of like a warning. Like be aware that this is the pattern that you're doing, that you're a bit closed off to it. With that two of swords, there is a decision needed. Okay, there is someone coming in. The universe is trying to bring that in, but there is a need for a decision. Okay, am I gonna open up more to people around me? Am I gonna, you know invest into that option or am i gonna stay the way that i am and just gonna let that pass me when it comes okay what else some advice and guidance for pile number two we have the full moon in virgo with you are good enough you are good enough and we also have the new moon in Pisces with meditate and contemplate. Meditate and contemplate. And that is, again, with that hermit and hanged man energy. That is meditation. That is going inward for answers. Um, taking your time. As well as, again, you are good enough. You deserve this love coming in. This opportunity coming in. Okay. I want to get some advice and guidance for pile number two. And we have the divine director. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose again with that ten of cups happiness is your purpose the universe wants you to be happy they want you to experience all that uh, for some of you there might be you might be in the middle of that divine intervention or again if you met that person already or whatnot um you're in the middle of it with that for some of you it is coming still that intervention but yeah, know that you are being guided. This is supposed to come your way. Universe put everything like into place for you for this. Happiness is your purpose. Almost your message is like where spirits like we want you to be happy. We are bringing this in. But there are is some need for reflection. Internal search. Internal looking for answers. What do I want? Where, again, with that wishing well, manifest. What do I want to manifest? What type of person do I want to manifest? Again, for those of you that have not, not met that person yet, you are right now very much creating with that wishing well. It is going to be manifesting. The universe is listening. They want to bring in that happiness for you. As well as you are good enough. You deserve that manifestation to happen. But again, with that meditate, contemplate, going inward for answers, uh, meditation, Whatever that is for you. And like <laughs> with that nine of wands and the seven of wands, like looking in for words more so because where is that defensiveness coming from? What is the the core of it? And is it still serving you? Is it not? What you know, what do you want to do with that? There are some changes that need to happen with this but i honestly kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys because otherwise i feel like i'm just going to repeat myself over and over again so yeah i am going to leave it here i hope it was helpful i hope it resonated if it did definitely let me know in the comments down below let me know if you've already met this person or not um and what it is that you're manifesting as well i'm very curious um so yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of content for you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. Shows your support to me and the channel as well. 
So thank you all so, so much for being here, for all the love and support I have been getting. Have a wonderful, kick-ass rest of your day. You got this. You are good enough. You deserve this. You got this. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pile number three. So if you chose this card with the nine of swords, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into a message from spirit, some advice and guidance for the next year, 2024, or this year, if you watch um, when I upload uh, for this new year. If you're watching this in like August, um, that's fine. It's just, you know, a message from spirit at this time in, uh, you know, right now. Um, so let's take a look. That nine of swords. The nine of swords is about like worrying, a lot of overthinking, a lot of having a hard time falling asleep, worrying. For some of you, it might be even like griefing. Not a fun state of mind, but let's take a look how this fits in with some advice and guidance for you guys. For some of you, it is advice about worrying or about like overthinking or for some of you, it's also about thinking about something that you have no control over, but you cannot seem to stop like thinking about it. Or let's just take a look how this fits in for you guys. So pile number three with that nine of swords, some advice or guidance for them for 2024. Okay, uh, I think that was it for now. Let me gather everything and then see if we need some more. First off, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. The Tower. The Four of Wands, oh. the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and I want to get one more. Look at that, at the bottom we have the world of this one, but let's see what else. I want one more for pile number three, any advice or guidance for them for 2024. Oh, look at that, the world wanted to pop out again. Okay, we have the Three of Swords as well, and I added the World as well, because it wanted to pop out, so we'll just add that one as well. And then at the bottom of this, we have Justice as well, Justice. Okay. Some advice and guidance for 2024. So I'm seeing a lot of major, again, playing pain, hurt, not so fun stuff happening. Which I totally get with that Nine of Swords for you to think about it a lot or, you know. I do say with that justice and the world that that comes to an end. There is going to be some sort of conclusion, ending. Whether for some of you it might be a divorce or marriage. For others of you it can be some sort of lawsuit that has cost you a lot of pain and hurt. But I'm also, with that conclusion, I'm also seeing a celebration. Working together with someone that can be your lawyer or like... A colleague or a friend working on this. Like I said, I'm seeing a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of suffering, a lot of just being done, tired, like ugh, heart being ripped to pieces, just like, oh, like done with everything. I do feel, again, that coming to an end, that cycle coming to an end. And then I see a lot of new opportunities. Because I feel like throughout everything, with that Queen of Swords, you're not gonna turn, like, bitter or something, right? If that's something that you're scared of. 
I think you are someone that has a lot of love to give and is very passionate about what they do or what because I feel like whatever this involves again for some of you it's like work for others of you it can be a relationship it's to the point where you're scared like will I ever be as passionate in this field ever again will I ever be passionate in my work again will I ever be passionate in a relationship again or in a friendship again you know I feel again that this comes to an end at the end of it there's going to be a celebration and then a new start a new beginning a new adventure you going okay what am I going to do you're going to flip a coin what direction am I going to go in and just try that figure it out starting over Okay, um, let me get some oracles. Wait, am I seeing anything else? I just feel like it's hard for me to pinpoint like whether that's work or I think that just resonates how it does. I do feel that there is some time needed at the end of it with that closure, a time where you are gonna take some rest, a time out, I don't know, a week for yourself to really come back to your who you are to close it off and then come with a game plan okay how are we gonna deal with this have that ending moving forward again i am saying with that tower it is gonna be something very unexpected or very sudden and it's gonna almost like i don't want to say like blow your socks off because that seems like a good analogy more so like get your feet swept away under your body type thing the rug under your feet how do you say feet how do you say that in english um but look at that like the tower is falling but she is smiling about it and it looks like she did that to the tower right for some of you it might be like a relationship that was no longer serving you and you making the decision okay we need to tear this tower down that we've been trying to build this is not something that i'm happy about anymore and i don't think we can make this work so tearing down the tower because she looks again she looks not like sad about it she's like okay now we can rebuild i needed to, this place to now rebuild a new tower um for my own almost like reclaiming her own power um okay let me get some more oracles on this for you guys so pile number three some advice and guidance let's see we have <laughs> solitude solitude and that's kind of what i felt with that four of swords because the four of swords is taking a step back and taking a break maybe again taking a week vacation and to have some solitude to go with yourself what do i want what do i need need not having other people's influence or ideas or you know them telling you their ideas or you know trying to influence you just you by yourself in solitude um figuring it out coming up with a game plan even even if that means like again if you take a week off that can also include you taking a week off in solid solitude and feel miserable throughout the entire week i feel for some of you that's also necessary to then come back Fight this fight, move forward, have that celebration, and start again. Because, like, again, so people don't want to feel miserable. People don't want to feel angry. People don't want to feel scared. Those type of emotions. But those emotions have a purpose, too. Because if you're feeling that way and having that solitude, again, if you are heavily depressed or something, don't do that. But for some of you, it might be a good thing because after that week, you know you never want to feel that way again. As well as it enlights some fire, moving forward, moving on, tackling this, getting this out of the way. Dealing with this, have that ending and start over. But again, for some of you, it just needs... There might be, again, some outside influence on you on this 
where that solitude can be a good idea to again figure out what it is what you really want what you want not what everyone else is expecting not you know opinions of others we also have a field of dreams a field of dreams so for some of you even having the solitude to then find your dreams again and dream big dream many dreams okay uh what else some more oracles for you guys so some advice and guidance for pile number three for 2024 or a message from spirit for 2024 we have the full moon in pisces with balanced spirituality and practicality so for some of you you might be overdoing it at work uh you're not realizing that you are um very close to a burnout where again your practicality and spirituality you're too practical and you're kind of with that solitude again um not paying enough attention to your own spirituality that can also be again with that solitude like i said the extreme is like a way a week by yourself but it can also be picking up meditation again or yoga or whatever it is that you do to feel grounded more balanced that can usually in in includes some sort of creative things as well whether that's making music or painting or to clear your mind have that calmness feel that solitude uh in that moment and trying to get that back to balance because i feel like again with that Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Tower. I feel like you're very close to, again, for some of you, a burnout. A burnout. So some advice and guidance for pile number three. We also have the New Moon in Gemini with communication is key. Communication is key. Yeah. And with that Three of Pentacles, that's kind of what I saw where that can be again co-workers can also be talking about this with your boss and go like you know what this is too much for me i'm overwhelmed uh it can also be a therapist um a friend a rabbi or you know whoever that role can apply for you in your life but talk about it how you feel in balance even if you're not really sure how to explain it or explain how you're feeling have some communication about it because you listen more times than not people will understand how it is that you're feeling without you using like proper words right um okay let me get some final advice and guidance from spirit for you on this some final advice and guidance for pile number oh, three this one really wants to come out as well. So first off, we have Master Buddha with increased awareness, deep connection and trust to your inner voice. And I feel again that that's kind of lacking with that balanced spirituality and practicality. Get back into connection with Buddha if you're a Buddhist, with your inner self, with your inner voice, with your spirit. And try to find that balance again. Again, live a little bit in solitude. And we also have the Holy Amethyst with Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. And that's more, again, with that field of dreams as well. The, the challenges you face right now, even though they are great and they, you know, are not something... Because, again, with the, all those swords, for some of you, this is a very challenging period in, of time for you where this will come to an end and if you feel tired or want to give up again get in balance with your spirituality however that is for you however you do that um as well as focus on what you desire dream dream big where do you want to go like at some point when while growing up we forgot to ask ourselves what do we want to become when we grow up right that's a question that we ask our children what do you want to become who do you want to be when you grow up? And then at a certain time, 
of age, we stop asking ourselves that. We stop having those big dreams, unrealistic dreams. Dream big. Focus on what you desire. Build yourself that field full of dreams of what you want, what you desire, who you want to be, where you want to go. Um, and go after that. As well as communicate it. Communicate what it is that you're dreaming of, where you want to go. Say it out loud to manifest. Say it out loud to make it real. But there is very much a need to balance again. Get yourself in balance again. Because I think the period that you have been through, or that you might like start going through, um, will have a major impact in your life, as well as make you a bit like second fiddle to your own life where you're like putting yourself in the back burner a little bit to get this done to focus on this but again be aware that there is a risk of burning out if you do this for too long and that you need some solitude that you need some time for yourself that you need to find that balance of spirituality and practicality so yeah i am gonna leave the reading here for you guys because i feel like otherwise i'm just gonna repeat everything that i'm saying I, i'm seeing a beautiful new adventure coming for you for you um at the start of the balance uh within yourself so yeah let me know in the comments down below how this fits in if it resonates how it resonates how far along as well as i'm kind of well i'm just a very curious you know i like to know um like what this how this like started or what set it off um also if you want some questions have some questions or something about i don't know like, again i'm also a life coach so i'm i'm thinking of maybe starting some life coaching on a different channel uh advice and guidance on things so if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below i would love to talk about it with you um like the video if you enjoyed watching it so i know that i can make more of these type of content for you guys subscribe if you haven't already that's very helpful for me as well um, and thank you all so much for all the love and support I have been getting. It's very, very overwhelming, but I'm very, very grateful for it. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. Go kick ass. You can absolutely master this moment in time. Um, trusting yourself, trusting the universe. And I feel like, you know, if that balance is back, you will have a beautiful new adventure. So have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Go kick ass. You got this. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading.